Hello everybody, well, this is a Shadowbox. Welcome back to Blunderbuss Farms. Uh, joining me as always is Dr. Vesuvius and still giving us a hand on the farm, Rainbow Dave. How are you guys doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Oh, same old, same old. You know, yep. from the, uh, since the, the five minutes since we finished Dr. Vesuvius' episode. <laughs> oh, you can see it's uh, now eight o'clock in the morning. And we are almost done finishing up our uh, UPK morning orchard routine, and uh, we got we've got the orchard all taken care of, right, Doctor V? You and Dave did that. Yep. Yep. And we've done that. I've got the mill taken care of, and I started on the brewery. So, Doctor V, if you want to take over the brewery, Dave and I will uh, right. tackle the greenhouses. Okay, I'm off. I'll all get... right. Um, Dave, if. You are agreeable. If you would take the uh, John Deere and collect the produce from the warehouses, you just gotta pull up next to where you see the the uh, crates all stacked up, and then they get stored in these sheds, as uh, same as the orchard ones. Sure, no problem. And then I'll work on the uh, manure and water. So Dave, how did you get started doing YouTube videos? Um, well, th this isn't my first channel. I've had a couple before, and it's just kind of been like something I've wanted to do. So I just started doing it. <laughs> like I've, I've watched um, Dirt Heber as a Nerd Cube for quite a while, and I just decided I wanted in on some of that YouTube action. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's a hobby. Yeah. Yeah. And like, there's so many people saying, oh, I'd love to do YouTube, and the only thing you can really say to them is, well, do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's no reason not to if you, if it's something you want to do. By the way, the Dr. V, the water trailer for the uh, brewery is over here at the uh, greenhouses filling up. Okay, smashing. What's this, uh, universal, this yellow universal trailer you have over here, Dr. V? It looks kind of like I... a slurry tanker, almost. It might be, I can't remember, to be honest with you. Um... Oh, no, I know what it is, it's for fertilizer. Really? Yeah, it's, um, the Coat Universal mod, which basically takes the standard Coat tanker and mods it so you can carry pretty much anything liquid in it. Um, so I was using that for the fertilizer requirement for the greenhouses. Oh, cool. Instead of the fertilizer spreader that we have had? Yeah. With it makes more sense. Um, 3,000 capacity or whatever. Yeah. Did you know you could use the, uh, the pole trailers? The regular pull trailers to haul fertilizer as well. They get stored in those uh, little baggies. I did not know that. Brew town with wheat in much... Not no wheat, barley. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it is barley, yeah. Phew. I got the wrong thing there for a minute. We'd have to start making wheat beer again. Yuck. That's horrible. I did put I did uh, put a load of wheat in the brewery. No. Oh. oh, I suppose I suppose the water going into wheat beer would be better served going into regular beer, wouldn't it? We would get much more beer production out of it. Plus, you know the uh, the supermarket doesn't accept wheat beer. Right. But the uh, restaurant does. It's a little bit further of a drive. Actually, you know how you said that the uh, transport trailers you're using could take fertilizer? Mm -hmm. 
They could probably take water as well. Yes, I believe they can. Fills up big, um, big uh, plastic barrels of it, I think. Yeah. All right, we are now full of barley. The uh, brewery. Excellent. I've got some left in my trailer, so I'll leave that here for now. It's it's a good job I've not just rammed into the fence in the music manner. Not being on camera. <laughs> come on, get a little bit closer. Tip trigger, come on. Oh, had it. Back up. And now Anthony is playing Grand Theft Auto 5, so I cannot see. If I have a tip trigger, and I do, there we go. So what are you all doing over there? I'm just topping up the uh, manure on the greenhouses. And I'm just hitting absolutely everything I find. <laughs> Doors are a particular oh. problem. <laughs> Since 2000, that should be enough. How are we with men? Uh, the cows have 60,000. Did you, uh. Did you go ahead and buy more cows, or did we, or I don't remember? We We've bumped expanded, it up to 100. I think up to 100, yeah. I'd like to go to 200. I think we can manage to feed them without too much of a stretch. And if we can, we can always sell them. Yeah. Hamburgers being served at the, uh, the restaurant. Of course, that means we'll also need to step up uh, straw production as well. Well, to be honest, we've been selling a lot of the straw that we've made, so it's going to be a matter of just stepping up straw storage. True. And maybe finding a better way to get the straw into the uh, into the animal enclosure rather than having to feed bales into that stupid little shredder. Well, yes, but that's the. Uh... Bales are the only way to store straw, at least on this map. Unless there's a UPK straw bunker. Have there you is the... placeable piles, which works with mm, straw. Yeah. It's actually really useful, because it just you can just throw whatever you want at it. You set up a pile somewhere and then say, oh, have this pile of straw. Right, but then we would also need to find something to be able to take straw out of that pile. Um, you can get it with a standard forage wagon. No, you can get it with the um, the big self-propelled feed mixer. That'll pull it out, but not a forage wagon. No, you can. I've used. Oh, I swear I tested that and it didn't work. I may have changed it, possibly. Versions of the mod. I don't know. We'll have to experiment for science. The only bad thing with using um, these uh, storage wagons as fertilizer or water transport is that um, if if we load too much in it, there'd be no way to empty it, and then we'd be stuck with too much fertilizer or too much water we couldn't get rid of. We'll use it eventually. Like I said, if you have a if you have a uh, trailer dedicated for one task, like we've got, 
doesn't really matter if you're, you're just keeping the stuff stored in there. Right. But I just meant, like, I thought maybe we would use the, uh... I wonder if this tiny tractor can pull this trailer. No. It... No, it can not Yeah, I don't know. I can push it. Gone? There you go. Oh, he's got you uh, doing the unloading, has he? Yeah, I'm just throwing tomatoes around everywhere. <laughs> don't bruise the produce. I'm not bruising it, there's just a lot of people walking around town with red faces. <laughs> It could be worse. He could have you on manure duty. Yeah, I took I took that job for myself. Don't say I'm not generous. Or I'm not. Nice if I was ever. on that, there'd be a lot of people walking around town with brown faces and very smelly. <laughs> <laughs> You'd probably be uh, run out of town on a rail, Doctor V. Okay, I'm done trying to finagle that. Wow. I just took a whole tanker load of water to the brewery. And it's used up all but 7,000 litres of it. That's like over 20,000 litres in one hour's usage. Oh, wow. Okay, so to get this straight, you don't want the brewery to produce wheat beer anymore. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I suppose if we've got wheat left over and we can't uh, can't use it for bread. The thing is, I don't know whether it works out the uh, items it's producing sort of individually or all together. Like, if it, if it can produce, like, 4,000 units of some sort of beer in total, and if it divides that between the two, or if it just says, all right, I can produce 2,000 litres of beer and 2,000 litres of wheat beer, got the materials. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, if, as long as uh, putting wheat in there doesn't reduce the beer production... I wonder if these um, Ross boxes can take fertilizer. I think they can. I think they can take like everything ever. And if not, it's you can just edit them to do it. <laughs> nope, doesn't look like they take fertilizer. Oh wait, yes they do. I just had to switch over to it. That's why I love my Volkswagen. My Volkswagen Combi. It's just it's like takes everything. Holy moly, heavy freaking thing, Batman. Okay. Gotta attach this Ross box to the back of the tractor. I think the record I've seen is three Ross boxes on one tractor. Yep, one on the front, one on the back, and then uh, one on the fork. One on the front loader, yeah. Do you want me to do the water for the greenhouses, since I'm in the tanker at the moment? Um, I am actually want to test the Ross box and see if the Ross box can... Uh, pick up water. Okay. Let me, uh, I'm coming over there with an empty one right now. Is he still doing the 
the brewery's not finished yet, is it? No, no, that's a that's a never-ending job, though. Oh, oops. Keeping the brewery filled with water. I just uh, drove by a greenhouse with an empty Ross box, so of course I picked up some strawberries. So we were talking before about um, things that can extend the life of uh, Farming Simulator and make it fun again after it becomes a bit stale. Definitely think the UPK mods, adding the agribusiness type stuff, has, has, has done that in a big way. Oh yeah, UPK is one of the best mods for Farm Sim, just in general. What do you mean fertilizer is not accepted in here? Oh yeah, I forgot the... Uh... Greenhouses actually don't need fertilizer. Or the, the, strawberry, the strawberry ones, ones don't. Well, no crap, strawberries aren't accepted here. <laughs> fertilizer is not accepted here. Yes, it is! Fertilizer, 4%. Deep breath, say yes. Go to your safe Grr. place. What's the point of a Ross Fox holding fertilizer if you can't use it on the greenhouses? It's not unloading. It's not unloading. But why? Are you at the right point from the movie? Yeah. Maybe not. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was at the water tanker, now that I think about it. Yeah. I forgot they uh, go next to the manure area. Yeah. What the heck? No, I want to unload the strawberries, not the fertilizer. <laughs> Having some trouble. Don't mind me. There we go. Well, are we all excited for uh, the upcoming, um, what, what are they calling it this time, is it, is it Gold Edition? Yeah, Gold Edition on PC, Xbox One and PS4, but Silver on the others. Yeah, well, certain right, and some console users. Oh, you mean Farming Sim? Yes. I'd actually not heard about that. When's it supposed to be released? <sighs> uh, the 29th, I believe it's coming out. Oh, really? Yep, end of the month. That's a bit earlier than they did the Farming Sim 13 one, isn't it? I think it's roughly the same time, but there's still another DLC to come after that. I th or so I've been told. Because there was a lot of talk about a home. I don't know. They might have just decided not to do the home or stuff until 17. Maybe. Gold Edition looks pretty good, though. The map I'm not too keen on. It just looks a bit trashy. Uh, what, what's the map supposed to be on? I literally haven't seen anything about Gold Edition. It's uh, an it's... Eastern European map, but everything is rusty for some reason. It adds character. Uh, it, a bit of rust adds character. Every, literally everything being rusty and dilapidated, not so much. <laughs> I'm sure the Eastern Europeans will love it. Yes, a shadow box has a little bit of uh, prejudice against uh, all things east of uh, Berlin. He 
He even objected to my choice of runabout initially. Yeah, because he had an APC for his runabout initially. <laughs> What's wrong with an APC as a runabout? Yeah, good storage. Loads of room for passengers in case you need a small rifle platoon carrying somewhere. Plenty of self defense capabilities. Really good for the insurance. Yeah. You're never going to get stuck in traffic. <laughs> He's pouting now. <laughs> Personally, I'm waiting for a full-on tank mod for my runabout. Ah, yes. Now, you see, if he had done something reasonable, like an Apache, then I would have been okay with it. What can a helicopter in farming simulates? That's just stupid. Honestly, ASP, what are you thinking? Farming simulator? I would actually love to see in Farming Simulator 17 is for is you know crop dusters. I would love. You know that. what? I would, I love would that seriously so much. love that. It would be cool, but they'd really have to change the physics engine. Yeah. I've seen some people try it in FS13, and it just didn't work. The controls were terrible, and everything just looked like you were trying to drive around in midair. Oh yeah, for sure. But I think we all, I think we can all agree that they need to change the physics engine anyway. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, 15 is a definite big improvement over 13 with regards to physics. But, uh, it's an improvement, but the bail physics was still a bit crap, I yeah. think. But the Giants have said the they're not physics. changing the engines. They're not changing the engine? No, they said they'll, like, iterate on it. But they've been using the same engine since FS11. Like, this is the same engine as FS11. Possibly 09. Like, there comes a time when an engine just has to be retired, and I think that time has come. <laughs> but I don't know, they might, like, make the physics actually decent in 17. One can hope. All I really hope is that if the physics are reasonable that the bales don't start exploding after a while. Yeah. Because that is the single worst thing about the the entire game is the bales occasionally just decide if you put them in a shed they'll explode at you. <laughs> do we still have a manual bale trailer, Dr. V, or do we have to use the uh, gall trailer? I don't know, to be honest. I thought we still had one. But let's face it, to be honest, ASB, we've got 1.2 million in the bank. We could afford to spring for a new bail trailer if we needed. True. There are only what? 10 grand? Something like that, yeah. We'll take it out of your next uh, lunchtime expenses. Wait. What? Yes, speaking of bailing, we've actually got a whole load of hay bales down on um, by the animal enclosures. Which are going to need stacking up and taken care of. No oh good, because I've been working a lot of hay baling stuff recently. <laughs> well, not right. baling, but getting hay made at least. Baling is yet to come. Both fit in here? You can see the front of my tractor sinking down with the weight of the water. <laughs> I 
tell you what, I will um gonna take some time for this to fill up. I will go looking for a, a flatbed trailer. Okay, sounds good. These do take fertilizer. Don't they? What, the strawberries? No, they don't. Uh, Spring water manure. I mean, strawberries, that's it. They, they have the... Like, the sacks next to the manure, but... swine and not hook up. You're going to be one of those trailers, aren't you? <sighs> Alright, we do it the hard way. Dave, talking about the next versions of uh, Farming Simulator, what do you want to see added to the game? It depends on my mood, but normally it's like more crops would be nice, a couple more animal things to do, and well, different things to do that aren't forestry, because I think forestry is a bit of a cop-out in Giant's part. Yeah. It's like we can't add any new crops, so let's just make the trees cuttable. It's nice, but it doesn't work well enough. <laughs> and a new physics engine would be nice as well. <laughs> what do you think about the trend towards adding building stuff to the game? It's odd. I mean, I can understand why people want it, but it's not per something that I personally like. Because I've seen, I've looked at a few maps and they had, and they, while it worked, well, it worked. It just looked like they kind of shoehorned it in, in a way. Hmm. I mean, if if somebody can come out with a map, and I, this is kind of an encouragement to people, if you can come out with a map that actually makes the building stuff fit in properly, or something that can be in the game. Until then, it's just something that people shoehorn in for the sake of having something extra. It's like forestry kind of works almost-ish in terms of it being a, a function of farming, but building is like a whole different world, isn't it? Yeah, and even on most maps, the forestry kind of looks like it was shoehorned in at the last minute. Mm. Like, the only map that actually has good... Well, there are a few maps that have good forestry, but the only one that... I really think the forestry was meant to be there as Bjornholm so far. Mm. And even that's just kind of just. But even, even uh, having the biomass heating plant and the, bio, and the BGA, they both do the same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Like, it's it's Giants trying to make an extra sell point where one isn't necessary, <laughs> I think. Yeah. I just add confusion, doesn't it? BGA. Well, the worst thing is BGA is actually German for um, biomass plant. They, they literally do the same thing. <laughs> well, BGA is German, is like biogas on Lange, it's like biogas production facility, but it, it is biomass because it's bacteria digesting mm. the silage. Yeah, we just automatically assume it's English for biogas, don't we? Well, technically it is, but the actual function of it is uh, bacteria digesting it, so it's biomass. But it, I can understand people just saying BGA. It makes a hell of a lot more sense. <laughs> Right, we have a bale trailer down on field 20 now. Excellent. Now, speed, good. Of course, the other big, uh, big simulation news coming soon is uh, American Truck Simulator, which is yes. the thing. Yes. Are, are you are you looking forward to that, a eh, shadow box? No, I don't know what gave you that idea. I can't remember, Dave. Have you done any Euro Truck on your channel? I have done literally one video where I nattered on for about an hour. <laughs> and that was just for a channel update. Um, I might return to it at some point. But I might just go to ATS, depending on like how much it costs. I imagine it'll be about $45. US dollars. Yeah, I'd imagine it'll be somewhere in that region. I don't know, I might get it. Depends on my bank account. <laughs> Fair enough. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. It's, um... It's definitely an example, though, of a, a company that seems to be doing it right. I mean, the way SCS have supported Eurotruck... I mean, that was released how long ago? Two or um, three years? I think it's... Three, four years ago now. Hmm. And you know, they're still br bringing out updates, still bringing out DLCs. Yeah, I think Eurotruck. I think Eurotruck's just the gold standard of simulations, really. Like this is how, if you want to bring out a simulation, you need to do it in SCS style. Because they've just upped the game so much. And, I mean, they are constantly improving it. I mean, the way it's come on since I first started playing it. Stuff they've added with that, the mod manager, uh, well, the trucks, the improvements in the physics engine, for God's sake. There you go. Yeah, and they they've, do it. they've released, like, a modding kit specifically for our Euro truck as well. So like you could you can actually download um, a kit specifically for Blender for Euro Truck 2 just to get mods made. And meanwhile, giants are just kind of throwing stuff together and hoping it works. Having I'd... said that, we do do always slag off Farm Simulator, but when you look at um, when you look at the rivals. Professional farmer and farming expert and whatever else label UIG have put on the game this month. Yeah, UIG, why do you do this? It if they spent two or three years working on a game, it would be brilliant. I guarantee it. 
but they just don't. <laughs> But honestly, the worst thing about Farm Sim, Farm Sim is trying to work out Giant's Engine, or the Giant's Editor, because, like, I'm editing some maps, and it just, oh my god, the controls are terrible in there. It doesn't look too friendly, does it? Yeah, which makes the, not. Uh, the good maps that come out makes that even more impressive, if you know how terrible the editor is. Oh yeah, I mean, it's easy enough to edit a map, but to start from scratch is just, like, Throw yourself at a brick wall 17 times, and that's learning Giant's Editor. Yeah. <laughs> um, a shadow box. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got an alert on my phone, which is tied to our bank account, and um, it says there's been a large expenditure. A large expenditure? Yeah. Like, lost about $300,000 on something. Would you I know don't anything about know that? why it would be saying that, no. How, how expensive mm. was that bail trailer that she got, hmm? I'm pretty sure it wasn't $300,000. I may have to check the receipt, though. Hold on. No, it was only 12000 What have you been spending our money on again? Um... Well, you remember how I said we might need a more powerful tractor for the, uh... Oh, for God. the, um... What's it called? Orchard Farm. Yes! I remember you saying that. Well... I needed something to pull a water tanker for the, um... Greenhouses. So... Yes? I may have gotten a Case Puma 230. That's not like you, actually. It's the it's Black not, Beauty Edition. Oh, right. So I was going to say it's not blue and yellow. And then I also bought a water trailer. I and a new fertilizer that, yeah. trailer. And twin okay. wheels. Do you ever think you might be compensating for something there is? I mean, just, you know, a moment of introspection might not go amiss there. I'm, so, I'm just wheels. saying, you know. Twin wheels. You see what I have to put up with, Dave? Yeah, and here I am in all my farms of like a massive 698 or whatever it is. Teeny tiny massive from the mod contest that is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? I very nearly bought that for my farm. It's really good, the rear three points a bit dodgy, but it works. <laughs> You know, we really should add those Masseys and the uh, new Holland pack that Daretibers did to our server. Yes, I think so. Yeah, that new Holland pack just looks like you're asking for trouble with that many tractors. Or at least the one oh, for me, because I just keep losing so everything. So much trouble. So much trouble. <laughs> I look forward to it. Having said that, I mean, you saw on his video, we had them all loaded, and nary a frame drop. That's, that's, that's some serious mod optimization there. That's true, but Dirt Hebbers does have a rig that's just too powerful for farms in. Much like myself, actually. Hmm. And like me. Yeah, I well, mean, if you've got a 980, you can run any mod ever. Well, I have a 970, so nearly. Yeah, I have a 980, so it's just like, if if I get a frame drop, that's a serious issue. <laughs> I have a 750. I know my place. I'll, I'll send you my old 760, if you want. <laughs> uh, I, don't think, I don't think the uh, improvement would be worth the shipping costs. I upgraded from an old 450, so it's like a world of difference now. 
uh, don't get me wrong, my 760 was a fantastic card, but it, it doesn't hold a candle to the 970. I don't think many things can hold a candle to the 970 or 980 at this point. Except the Titans, but the Titans are just power for the sake of power. Well, yeah, the Titans are made for um, graphical design. Yeah. Alright, well, should we go check out what kind of uh, bales we... Uh, what kind of bailing that we, that is to say, you get to do? I guess so. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Like I said, this, this is a traditional challenge that we always uh, get our guests through. We have one. We have these. We have the stayer. It's down by the uh, down by the cows. Or we have the um, telehandler, if that's more to your liking. I am a lot more used to the uh, the tractor version. All right, I can go ahead and hop in that stire. Oh, this won't do. I'll be right back. Oh dear. I've come to dread him saying, I'll be right back. Right, here we go. So, sh I mean, this is really the, the hardcore Iron Man test of a farming simmer's abilities, I feel. How they do manual bailing. Round bales. That's the hardcore test. Round, round <laughs> bales would be worse. We, our, our cruelty does have some limits. I'll put Mine some overtime you've tomorrow. Seen, you've seen some of my videos. I love round bales. Oh geez, he's gonna do the. If he's used to round bales, that's gonna. He's gonna do the best out of uh, all of our guests. He's got. I, I he's predict. got skills. Oh no. I am not used to the lag in multiplayer with the uh, front loader. <laughs> there is a little bit of lag. Oops. You do get used to it. It could be worse. We could be making people do forestry stuff. That is true. I don't even like forestry stuff in single player. We should do that. We should, uh, say, transport this uh, trailer of logs. <laughs> Try and load the wood chipper. I think I'm going to sell that tree planter. We've never used it. It's never left the uh, shop yard. Yes, we did the dally with um, forestry on our farm here, but unfortunately there was um, there was an incident. Aliens. Yeah, yeah, aliens, that was it, ASB. He hit his head, head trauma, you know. Well, what would you think if you were just driving down to the wood selling place and then all of a sudden your bales decided, or logs, decided they didn't want to stay in the trailer anymore and they would rather fly up into the air and across the map? It's aliens. Anti gravity logs, you cut down the wrong kind of tree. I didn't think about that. ASB, this guy's got skills. Seriously, this is symmetrical skill stacking. Skills to pay the bills. Specifically the bills of him breaking half our equipment by ramming into things. I mainly broke everything else. The equipment's fine. The equipment's fine. Oh, okay. It's out. Unofficial uh, Blunderbuss Farms motto, it'll buff out fine. <laughs> what are you up to, ASB? You're missing all the action here. I'm coming, I'm coming.
I just I couldn't stand that telehandler that we had. I had to get rid of oh, it. Let me let me guess you bought something else. Oh my god. This one's much better. I gotta admit I do prefer the New Holland telehandler. See? Bring back the bobcat, that's what I say. We could use the JCB skid steer, same thing. We don't have the JCB pack. At least not on the server. Yeah, JCB is one of the best DLCs Giants have actually brought out. Really? Yeah, I mean, you've got the, the two fast tracks and then the, uh, the, the skid steers. Well, we so might have to consider... It does add something new to the game as opposed to just like, here's some new telehandlers. I know Talking Donkey really loves his uh, JCB tractor. Yeah, the only problem with adding DLC to the server is that, uh, you know, if we get guests on that don't have it. Yeah, that's true enough. I think it's always easier to just stick with the free stuff anyway. Free mods. Right, you guys going head to head stacking here? I wouldn't say going head to head. Like for example, my that bale decided to just slide off the end of my fork for no reason at all. And the only one. Don't cross the streams. Other eighties movie reference. If you bail it, they will stack. <laughs> oh, nice one. ASB, oh, do, you, do you even farm sim? Really? Ooh, F-16. I live near an air guard base, and uh, sometimes we get like A-10s, F-16s flying overhead. Meanwhile, I just get random neighbor's dogs barking in the background. <laughs> hey, do you think you could straighten up that one that he's done there? I know it's not very good. You're supposed to be on my side. Sorry, yeah, 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 of course. Go, go team. It is not at all obvious I've been screwing around, stacking around bales for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Same as it's not at all obvious that I haven't done any manual bale stacking since our last uh, guest challenge. Oh, no. oh, 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 man down, man down. What happened? A bale got <laughs> angry. <laughs> oh. Are you alright? <laughs> say something, Dave. Say something. Are you alright? That, right? that was impressive. I flipped the bail and then the bail got revenge. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I missed it. I might, Dr. V might have to have you send me that clip so I can overlay it. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I'm, yeah, that's gonna go onto the highlights read or something. Or just like a random extra video. <laughs> I wasn't even going that quickly. <laughs> well, up until that point, I was said you probably had the lead, but um, yeah, unfortunately, that's um, that's a technical DQ, I think, for uh, rolling the tractor. I can't write it; it's actually <laughs> stuck. <laughs> I've fallen and can't get up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, nice. Please see if you can. 
Look out for the uh, spiky points of death coming right at your cab. Yay! <laughs> and then just promptly drives forward onto the bell. It's alright, you drive onto a bell, you can drive off it again. <laughs> just never get two wheels on a bell. <laughs> All right, well, I think on that note, we might go ahead and call this an episode. The, uh, bail trailer is going to be loaded up nicely. I think I think we've seen enough of uh, Rainbow Dave to say that he is highly skilled with his bailing. And if tractor rolling. If, tractor yeah. rolling. If tractor rolling ever becomes a sport, I've got you down for the Olympic team. Everybody, check out um, check out Dave's channel. We'll put links in the description um, for similar farming sim hijinks, um, the odd high speed race. And also remember, if you want to um, play on a, uh, it's not this map; it's a separate map. If you want to play on a uh, farming sim server with uh, Doctor Vesuvius, myself, and a few of our friends, you can. Join us over at uh, www.lunargaming.com. A link in the description below. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us, there, Dave. It's been uh, great fun having you. Yeah, it's been fun being here. My pleasure. I'm glad to hear it, and I uh, hope you'll join us again at uh, some point. But until then, I've been a Shadowbox, and joining me, Doctor Vesuvius and Rainbow Dave. Thank you for joining us, everybody, and have a good one.